India summons Pakistan Deputy High Commissioner and lodges strong protests over the killing of five Indian soldiers along the line of control in Poonch sector in Jammu and Kashmir. Army Chief General Bikram Singh to visit Poonch today to review the security situation. The killing of Indian soldier rocks the proceedings in Parliament. Defence Minister assures that the army is fully prepared to take necessary steps to uphold the sanctity of the Yellow Sea. Parliament to discuss the Ordinance on Food Security Bill. Rajya Sabha to also consider Companies Bill for passage. Durga Shakti Nagpal's case uh, reaches the Supreme Court. The Punjab government offers this Durga respite, says she's welcome in her parent Keda, Punjab. Home Secretary of West Bengal reviews the situation following the indefinite ban called by Gorkha Janamukti Morcha in Darjeeling. Normal life affected in Bans in Assam. Protests demanding separate states of Karbi Anglong and Borland continue in the state. Curfew relaxed in Karbi Anglong from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Supreme Court directs the government to provide necessary information to the CBI in core block allegation case without any delay. Court asks the concerned authority to provide full cooperation to the agency. Dex cleared for Gujarat additional director of Director General of Police P.B. Pandey's arrest in Nishad Jahan encounter case. Court rejects his anticipatory bail plea. Supreme Court reserves its order on RJD Supremo Lalu Prasad Yadav's plea for uh, seeking transfer on the trial court judge hearing a case against him in Forest Camp in Jharkhand. MLA's MPs convicted cannot contest courts. Flight operations resume at Kochi International Airport. Rescue operations continue in the rain ravaged Iduki district. Flood situation remains grim in Uttar Pradesh as the plight of over 6 lakh people continue to be in danger in the state. Most of the rivers including Ganga, Yamuna and Gomti are in spate and wreaking havoc in the course of the flow. The government approves 12 FDI proposals amounting to around 344 crore rupees. These proposals have been approved on the recommendations of the Foreign Investment Promotion Board. Chief Economic Advisor Raghuram Rajan appointed the next Reserve Bank of India Governor. Rajan says the economy is passing through challenging times. Rupee hits an all-time low of 61.81 again against the dollar but rebounds to uh, close with a gain. Sensex nose dives by over 430 points at six weeks low at 18,000. 733. The US and the UK governments have withdrawn diplomatic staff from Yemen and urged their citizens to leave amid concerns over security threats. It follows a sudden closure of 20 US embassies and consulates on Sunday. Iran's President Hassan Rouhani calls for serious and substantive negotiations with the international community about its nuclear program. The United States, uh, States says Rouhani's presidency presents an opportunity for Iran to resolve the world's deep concerns. A Pakistani anti-terrorism court has put off Parvez Musharraf's indictment in the Benazir Bhutto assassination case till 20th August after the former dictator failed to appear before the judge for security reasons. The U.S. says it will go ahead with high-level talks with Russia on Friday despite Moscow's decision to grant asylum to Edward Snowden.
10-story building explosion in Argentina leaves at least six people dead, 58 injured. The incident apparently happened due to a gas leak in the building. And members of India's junior women hockey team receive a warm welcome at New Delhi Airport. Indian Eves defeated England 3-2 on penalties in the bronze medal playoff.